Notice what the SDA pioneers declared in writing back in the infancy of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. They stated, Whereas in view of the separation which we believe should exist between the church and the state, it is inconsistent for the church to receive from the state pecuniary gifts, favors, or exemptions on religious grounds, and therefore we repudiate the doctrine that church or other ecclesiastical property should be exempt from taxation, and therefore we decline to accept such exemption on our behalf. You know, I find it quite prophetically sound that the obedient pioneers of the Seventh-day Adventist Church obviously understood the truth behind Jesus' statement in Matthew 22, verse 21, regarding separation of church and state. They clearly declared in this General Conference Bulletin of March 1, 1893, that it was not wise to receive a favor or even a break on taxes via the United States government because they knew The United States government was and still is the second beast of Revelation, and being as such, it is a dangerous entity to even consider joining in any contractual agreement with. But today, and exactly as prophesied in both Matthew 20 verses 1 to 7 and Revelation 12, 17, we see that the Seventh-day Adventist Church has indeed fallen into the arms of Rome to openly deny Jesus Christ's command in Matthew 22. Well, as prophesied, they ignore the will of God, so as to bow to the will of both the first beast in Rome, as we see in many documented statements listed here, as well as their 501c3 contractual agreement with the second beast, with a plethora of 501c3 contracts, wherein they are granted all sorts of favors and tax benefits from the state. I mean, is it any wonder why so many brothers and sisters previously in the SDA church walked out of such an evil organization as this? And they did so exactly as prophesied, so as to become the remnant of her seed mentioned in Revelation 12, 17. These obedient children of God want to finish the blessed work that can only be done in the 11th hour, as Jesus declared in Matthew 20, verses 1 to 7. Seeing as how the SDA church knows that they are in apostasy, What do they have to say about all this? Well, notice what one of their main leaders, Pastor Doug Batchelor, said in an email in this video. And it isn't good. Please pray for him and every leader in the SDA church so that they not only repent, but they come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins and that you receive not of her plagues. Thank you for watching. God bless.